Welcome, welcome all my home shoppers out there. Today we are in Liberty Hill, Texas in a community called Lariat and the builder we're looking at is Ashton Woods. My name is Omar Pineda, your Austin Realtor with EXP Realty and just take a quick look at all, all this dirt that they're moving. This is These are all future, future home sites. So it goes without saying this is a community that's in its infancy because there's going to be multiple fa future phases. So they're going to be building out here for the next couple years. And you can kind of tell this is hill country. It's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but when you're on the ground, you can definitely see those that equipment is on a hill. Now here, you can kind of see in the background there, that's a fishing pond. That's catch and release. That's part of the amenities here. And to the left of that is the new amenity center that isn't quite done yet, but it looks like it'll be done by this summer, definitely this year. And I just love how they laid it out because I've seen communities where the, the fishing pond is on the opposite end of where the pool is, and it's just not super convenient. But this community, they did not do that. So here's just an amazing aerial footage of what they're building now and what's to come. Now, let me go back just a second. I hate to do this, but I really want to point this out. So you see this road right here? So if you look at the map of how to get here to this community, you'll see that you have to take, let's see, twenty the 29 road all the way up to 214. So from 29 and 214 to get to this community. So it's not located next to any major highway. But when it's all said and done, this community will connect to 183. So they will build a road that will connect you to 183, which is a huge. Connect to 183 from this community will be huge because that's uh, access to a major highway. So you can get to downtown when you have to or to the airport. So that's going to be big because Liberty Hill is kind of out there. That is the only drawback kind of like the con I hear people say is that it is out there, especially if you are looking at it from the lens of like just how close it is to downtown Austin, right? So Ashton Woods has two different collections that they're building in this community. You have the homestead collection that we're about to see here now, and then you have the cottage collection, which are a little bit, not smaller homes, but the layout is just way different. And this 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 homestead collection, they have front facing a uh, front facing garage the cottages have a rear facing garage as far as like think of it uh, of how you enter entryway so this was called the mckinney home plan it's their three bed two and a half bath two story two car garage 2202 square feet and it's being offered at four hundred nine thousand and seventy three thought seventy three dollars now hang on here just one second i had to check the floor plan really quick just to Make sure I wasn't saying the wrong thing. So on this floor plan, you have the owner suite on the first floor. And on the second floor, you have their study along with the rest of the bedrooms. So what do you think of that? I know it's a very personal preference on whether having the primary on the first or second floor or whether having the home office on the first or second floor. I've seen the trend of people really liking having the primary and the home office on the first floor. The cottages actually do have the home office on the first floor, but all the bedrooms are on the second floor. Here is kind of the opposite. They have the the owner, the, so the master bedroom on the first floor and all the remaining bedrooms on the second floor with the home office. So that's just something to keep in mind. I know that's definitely a preference for people on whether on what you want top or bottom. So Ashton Woods is currently offering some pretty amazing incentives that's tied directly with getting pre-approved with their lender. And a lot of times with these incentives that you can that they're offering, they're tied directly with select inventory homes. And that's usually with the select homes being that are moving ready. And you need to be able to close within a very, you know, the next 30 to 60 days. So the the, the incentives are not for the whole community, but they're tied to select inventory and you have to get pre-approved with their lender and you have to abide by the time constraint. But don't let that time constraint be like handcuffs to not moving forward or to think that you missed your opportunity because there's always a chance for something you just have to ask and because when you work with a real estate expert who specializes in, in new construction i keep a pulse on the incentives on what the builders are offering and that way you know i can jog up the memory and see like hey i know we we're offering this the other the other day the other month is there any way we can get close to that so never 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 based solely your decision on 
buying a new construction home just on the incentives alone, right? Fall in love with the floor plan first, fall in love with the community first, and then make sure we find a home that's within your budget so you don't so you're not house poor. That's how I roll. That's how I lead that's how I, I guide my clients because at the end of the day, yes, these are lovely homes. These uh but we don't and it's very easy to get sidetracked and go for homes that are just at the top of your budget because we're not we're not taking into account property taxes, what the HOA is going to look like, home insurance. So those are an extra couple hundred dollars that's going to add to your mortgage. And before you know it, you now you're kind of panicking because now it's a little bit more than what you're expecting. So here's the home office for what this looks like on this floor plan on the second floor. So you have the home office and typically a home office has hard floors. Uh, the Home office or flex space from the other floor plan for the same builder has carpet. So you can, depending on what your preference is, you could turn a bedroom into a home office easily. But if you really want the hardwood floor, then you would have to get a floor plan that actually, instead of a flex space, they actually put in a home office. So, but that's something you could easily change yourself or how we can do it with the builder. That shouldn't be a deal breaker. That's an easy fix depending on what, on exactly what your needs are. But Overall, this is one of their uh, this is one of their bigger lots, like the bigger floor plans, and there's not that many of them because they're just they just they're just a bigger lot size. So they, when I was speaking to the salesperson, these floor plans, so the one we're looking at now, the homestead, they're probably going to sell out quicker than the cottages, simply because there's a lot more of the cottages, and I think because of like what Ashton Woods, as far as what they bought for land to develop for their side, though these two floor plans made the most sense. And if you look at it from the map, like aerially, like from a, like a 2D image, you'll see that a lot of these cottages are in the middle and these homestead kind of floor plans are like are on the perimeter of that, of, of whatever kind of community, whatever kind of phase that we're in. So, if you can picture that, I wish I had an image for you to see, but here's the backyard. Again, we are in Liberty Hill in a community called Lariat, and the builder we're looking at is Ash, Ashen Woods. And let's see here now. One thing I did want to say was the highway that's connecting. Oh, here's another fun fact. So even though we're in Liberty Hill, the water for the water being used for this community is pulled from Georgetown. Now, between Liberty Hill and Georgetown, Texas, even though they're neighboring cities, they have their own water problems. And Liberty Hill, they just have a little bit more of a problem. At the conservation in Liberty Hill is a little bit more than what it is in Georgetown. So that's a huge plus because you're in the Liberty School ISD district with this community and you're getting water from Georgetown. And the it's a 2.5 tax rate. You're in a mud, so it's going to be a little bit more than that, probably like 2.7, 2.8. And seventy dollars is the HOA, so there's a lot of lot of things to go over. Uh, let's schedule time to talk. If you really like this floor plan, or you want to check out the other one where it looks like to have a rear facing garage, then I will link that video in the description because I did do a home tour of that. I will also do link in the description a home tour. I did a whole general overview of what this entire community looks like and what all the builders are offering because I was able to get drone footage of all the models and just a tour of all of this community from the air. So I will also link that in the, script, in the description because this is a huge master plan community where they're offering price points in the high 300s to mid 400 starting, starting. I've seen houses up in the 500, 600 because they're going to be building uh, Perry homes, at least it's going to be building bigger lots. Ashton Woods, I don't, I think for their lot sizes, I think there's just 40s and and maybe 50s, but don't quote me on that. I don't have that in front of me. Let's see here now. Yes, the 183 connection, I already spoke on that. The, this is the tax rate. And so this is one of those communities where you can still, the entry point for affordability is there. And especially if you tie that along with the incentives, I think it makes it for a win-win scenario where we can actually get you into a brand new home in Liberty Hill, have that lib and be in the Liberty IS ISD district and not run out of water because you are pulling it from Georgetown. So these are all win wins if you ask me. And you have an amazing layout like this, you know, with the home office on top, and then you have the primary on the first floor. So not too shabby, not too shabby at all. So uh, call or text me if you want if you want to do a home tour, private home tour, 
or if you have a little bit more time or you're just not sure where to, you know, you're maybe thinking about a new build, maybe thinking about resale, let's have a conversation to see the pros and cons because I think I can convince you why new construction would be a little bit better because of the incentives, because of the home warranty, and because of the home insurance, believe it or not. And I think if you're just shopping around in the Austin area, especially for a first time home buyer, I get I get some buyers they want to be they don't want to be in a cookie cutter neighborhood or they just want to be isolated. Uh, but if you're looking at new builds because you just want to get into a home and get into a home where you're gonna have just you're gonna see the homes appreciate with value. Uh, then these new builds is where it's at. And I would venture on to say in 2024 and in 2025, even all the way into 2026, buying new construction is going to be where it's at if you're a home buyer because these incentives, I, I just can't see anybody competing with them. All of my other lending partner friends who don't work for a builder cannot compete with the rates. And that's just the reality. And until rates drop, which I don't see that happening, at least not dramatically, where it's going to really make an impact to your monthly payment, then built new construction is going to be where it's at. I mean, hands down, hands down. So again, my name is Omar Pineda. You're Austin Realtor with EXP Realty. I appreciate it for watching. Please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you like home tours like this. If you like seeing drone shots of all the new communities happening around the Austin area, I do all the flying myself. Every time I'm doing a home tour, I take my drone with me. So you, I get the amenity center. I get just a general overview of the community, especially if it's a, new, a, a newer community like this, where you just see how much future homes that they're going to be built. I think it's really important to see that from, from the sky. So you can get really good perspective. And I, I know it helps me paint a picture. If you're a visual person like me to see like what the lay of the land looks like. Uh, especially when it comes to you know key features like the amenity center, the pool, the the if there's a any water features, just like the general layout of how the homes are being built because all of them are different. All of them are different. So I appreciate you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.